Step into the halls of the twisted mind of Edmund McMullen and his crew that made, well, this. Isaac and his mother. Isaac and mom! Isaac looks like a nerd. Isaac nerd! He's just a stick figure with underwears. Christian Broadcast. Christian Broadcast. <laughs> mm-hmm. I couldn't even do that with a straight face. We need some sort of Punch and Judy commentary on this. Isaac's <laughs> mom. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best. To this is, I don't know, something about this narration I find kind of... Isaac's mom is an idiot. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. sorry, not an idiot, just a jerk. Hey, my, my clothes! <laughs> he has a third leg, he's a tripod! This is Carrie all over Isaac's again. Soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from I mean, I know this is based this on, you know, biblical, but still. It's a biblical parody. Yeah. Because, you know, religious fanatics, am I right? Mm-hmm. And she just locks him up. That's pretty much mm -hmm. what she did with, what the mother did with Carrie, too. She locked her in a closet. But of course, is that where I... no more wire hangers came from? What? I don't know, some sort of quote. Oh, whatever. Uh, no, it wasn't. Anyways, uh, for proper introductions, this is The Binding of Isaac, Afterbirth, plus... Birth to mm -hmm. Um, It is a game created by Egg McMillan from Newgrounds. It is a uh, roguelike dungeon crawler in the same vein as Legend of Zelda. Uh, but we'll get more into that in the gameplay, I suppose. I just love the fact you say all of that just as God saying his peace to, to Isaac's mom. <laughs> yeah, but do we really know if he's real or if it's, this is all in the mom's head? I've been meaning to play this game but never got around to it. Well, if you want to try it nowadays, I'd say you can either get it on Switch or... I'm sorry, is Isaac in a prison or his broom? Yep. Was that trapdoor always there, though? A convenient trapdoor in my in my room. Just in time, too, because his mom's about to kill me! Mm -hmm. You know what? In the movie Carrie, that's pretty much what the mom did, too. Chased after her with a knife. Is it? Yep. I haven't seen Sheesh. Carrie, so I wouldn't know. This sounds like such a very riveting movie or whatever you guys are talking about. I can't about. believe... Uh, I, 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 I knew about this game, but I can't believe just now I'm drawing parables of Carrie. Well... Well, parallel no more, because here comes the gameplay. To the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Afterbirth. So, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, like, this game's supposed to be, like, another expansion towards um, the Binding of Isaac. Like, at first we had the Rebirth, which was essentially uh, a pseudo-remake of the very original Binding of Isaac on PC, which, I mean, not a terrible game, but it definitely has aged a bit. But, yeah, here's Isaac. When did the original game come out again? I oh, no, no I'm naked. Yep, and my only means of offense are tears. Good grief, he's naked! <laughs> Good lord, I'm naked. Oh, old family guy. My sire. Until we get some more proper means means of atta of attacking, um, the only we the only way we will defeat our enemies is to literally cry our eyes out. Mm hmm <laughs> Maybe our tears will commit them to uh, sympathy, and we won't have to. Oh fight God, all. these guys! Uh, oh, screw the oh yeah, the, the, mook, the mook variety in this game is no, it has no limits of being gross and gro and bloody. And uh, that is it's already looking grotesque. If oh, you if you play The Legend of Zelda though, you already know the enemy variety. You got walking guys, you got jumping guys, you got you got guys that shoot things at you. Hmm, wonder what this pill does. Let's find out. Oh, Ooh, uh, lucky. Sweet. That's a, that's pill? convenient. So throughout the dungeons, you will find pills Aww. that give you, uh, stats, uh... Did have blood on the door there before? That give you stat upgrades or stat downgrades. Also, you'll find item rooms. We should go ahead and bring this up real quick. The Binding of Isaac, by, by, its, fullest, by, full, by its fullest extent, is pretty much a... Is, ugh, how should I put this? It's a roguelike, roguelike game. Like, it is. No, <laughs> no two playthroughs are the same. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's you might like be, you might find yourself in familiar rooms from time to time, but that doesn't mean it's the same thing. Yeah. Right. It's one of those games, and well, if you, I mean, if you, if you're, if you're down with those kinds of games, I'd say go for it. Like, it's definitely, it's definitely got its, um, it's definitely got its content, well, it's, it, there's a lot to it. Yeah, oh, but whether you're going to be lucky 
on your first run or not is entirely up to the game. Oh yeah, no, the game the game will have no has no shame in kicking your ass pretty hard if it feels like it. Yeah. <laughs> and then there could be times where they'll they give you just enough to work with that you could actually last through the entire adventure. Yeah. Mm. Whether or not you actually get there is up to the game. Also, here we have the monster manual, which will summon a little familiar to help us out. In this case, it's. Either oh, Brother Bobby us. or Sister Soggy? I forgot the name. It looks so creepy. But it's basically a miniature Isaac that follows you and fires right, weaker you bullets. Oh, right, key. Also, like, I know it's kind of random for me to start sh sh shedding tears on these piles of poop, but every once in a while, I think they do let out an item or two. But yeah. it's they do. Kind of, it's very rare. Well, then again, there's plenty oh, of poop uh, to go around. Nice shop you got here, pal. <laughs> you don't have enough for either of them. Mm-hmm. Crap. Well, I can always make a donation. <laughs> that was fulfilling. <laughs> I know if you make a certain if you make make a certain do, a certain amount of coins and donations, like you do get a certain perk. I just don't remember exactly what. It's been a while since I recorded this footage, but I will say this much: I was so damn close to actually beating this game. You'll either unlock more items and trinkets or upgrades to the shop. First boss yep. already? Yep, mm -hmm. that's how short this level is. The Duke of Flies! Oh, God. oh, This is a terrible starting boss. Ugh. Well, that's, th thank God I have my monster friend to help me out. <laughs> yeah, a spider a spider sack that can't, long, that can't hit, well, the creep that it's letting out usually slows down enemies. It doesn't farm flying enemies. <sighs> yeah, what luck that our, bo our boss here has to fly. But occasionally you'll... But occasionally it'll supply oh, friendly baby, spiders that'll away. take it down. So I guess it should also be said, like, I mean, I really don't have many have much in the way of I don't really have much in the way of um biblical ties or re religious ties or whatever have you. I just honestly I don't care. But mm -hmm. um, I mean, we're just playing this for the sake of playing it because I mean. Despite its um, despite its uh, symbolism and all that stuff, it's a pretty fun game. Binky. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. And it gives you a, a soul heart. I've never seen that before. That's cute. Yep. It'll shrink you down, increase your speed, and give you a temporary heart. Oh, the flashbacks. That what the so hell are they shooting at him though? What you do don't you think? No. <laughs> Just yeah, I. It's, I don't know what the fuck was up with Isaac's life up until this point. Like, I know, he was right? Just, he was just a sad kid. Yeah. A sad kid surrounded by sadder Bullied, children. abused, Ooh. Et And about to be killed by his mom. Yeah. And her whole thing. mom to get the nickel. And you know what's kind of, you know what's kind of funny about, about poor Isaac here? Like... I mean, despite the shit he's gone through in this game, like, he's definitely made a hell of an impact in the industry. I mean, hell. Just... Of all the things they could have put into the Blade Strangers fighting game, they added in Isaac. Yeah. He's just an oversized mascot suit. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Just have him fighting fighting scantily clad characters like Princess Swan from Code of Princess. It's Vanish or, Girl. Or or that or you know, Umihara Kawase from the hit game Umihara Kawase. Huh. Which by the way, I'm appreciative that, that game's actually getting a seat. Bombs! Yep, just like Zelda tradition, you have bombs, and well, they do exactly what you think. They break, they break block, uh, rocks. Mm -hmm. What the hell are those things? Why they are piles of meat, dear Seely. <laughs> Living piles of flesh and meat. Nope. nope, just meat. Uncooked meat. With the tiny bones sticking out. Well, kind of sad in hindsight. Nice. Also, flames can sometimes contain items or coins. I think just about anything Ooh, can, can contain items. Oh, lucky me. Guess it's time to go exploring some more. <laughs> well, technically, yes, everything could contain anything, but you have to keep an eye out for the appropriate rocks in this case, because on the rare occasion you'll find a rock uh, littered about that has a little X on it, like a little marking. Uh, if you destroy that, it will either unlock... Oh, well, it can okay. unlock anything, really. So wait, what does the milk do? The milk, um, if you get hit, it will actually spill over and hurt enemies. Oh. I think I it get, does. I get it, don't cry over spilled milk. Yeah. Because yeah, we're crying anyway, and oh, oh, boss. Fuck this oh. dude. Oh 
Oh my god! Okay, so there's an enemy later on that basically functions the exact same way as this dude. When you get in its line of fire, as in like north, south, east, or west of its direct uh, uh, position, it'll fire a laser at you. A laser nice. of blood. So for now, they that... just treat it as a mini boss. That was the yeah. soul heart, right? I'm trying to remember what those were called. Um, they're soul hearts, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. They See, only. I, I, I kind of know my shit with this game. Yes, you do. Which is why we had you on board anyway. <laughs> wow, what a shit selection at this shop. Range down? Oh, no, not another one. Once um, you use a certain colored pill, you'll memorize what it does for that run. But until you actually use it, you won't know what it does. Yeah, that's the problem, though, just for that run. Because, well, once you redo once you redo runs, it's as if you're starting from square one all over again. Yep. Mm -hmm. And for better or worse, that can suck. Plus the pill effects switch up every run. By that point, you just have to memorize what it does. Uh, get it? Switch up. Oh, and Monstro. Switch. Also, it's Monstro! Hi, Monstro. He's not that bad from what I've seen. No, he's just a blob with a face. Yep. Yeah, he, he feels like first boss material, yet he's our second yeah. boss. I don't understand what's going on with his upper lip, but he's kind of cute. In a cre uh, gruesome kind of way. Also, we got the Robo Baby! <laughs> Hello, Robo Baby! <laughs> He'll follow the direction of wherever you're pointing, but alas, he cannot... Um, he won't uh, home in on enemies. No, but he does auto- but he does auto-fire. Assuming yeah. he, he's aiming at an enemy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, that monstro is down for the count. At least for oh, now. Oh shit. Bull. And we unlocked Monstro's truth. I just, uh, I just what? realized, what changed on Isaac? We had the binky, where'd it go? Uh, we have the, uh... Well, that's weird. The visual effects are a tad inconsistent with the characters in this game. Sometimes they overlap each other. And also, we oh, got yeah. Satan Room. Oh, that's weird. Mm -hmm. for, for the price of one heart, you get, you get yourself another perk. The goat's head will guarantee a Satan room after every boss. Great. And that item over there is, I think it's the mark. It will increase the amount of damage you can uh, dish out. Oh, I see, I see, I see the visual, how the visuals are affected now. Mm-hmm. Like I said, oh! oh. <laughs> My manhood! Oh, wait, I'm a, but I'm only, but wait, I'm only eight years old. It's just a stick. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay. <laughs> But anyways, um, oh, well. Actually, funny, we're actually doing, um, playing this game now, because apparently um, it's getting one more mod until they're pretty much done with the game for good. Is it the mines? Um, I forget what it's, I forget what the expansion is called, but it's something, you know what, let me look that up real quick while, I, while we have all of this extra 20 minutes left of footage. I could have sworn there was one area that wasn't included in this version of the game. It was like this little mineshaft area with, like, minecarts and whatnot. Oh. Okay, now, okay, I know what it is now. Uh, the Binding it? of Isaac Repentance. That's what Repentance. it is. Repentance? Oh. What's it got? It's a, I don't know exactly what it's got, but apparently it's supposed to be based on a, on a fan hack. Oh. Oh, so that might have been it. Maybe. Mm. Apparently there's also, also an anti-birth? That one an I An anti-buff? That might have been a mod for all Oh, anti-birth. Uh... Hmm. Also, screw these little leech enemies. The moment you kill them, they explode. Yeah. Ugh. It looks like they're it looks like they're ready to explode any second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh god. Also, you might notice those conspicuous black turds. Not only do they do damage to every single enemy in the room, but it also uh, stuns them a little bit. Ugh. Interesting. Mm-hmm. The crying, I almost feel bad for them. There are a lot of individualized mechanics in this game. Yeah, like, know like because I said, there's a there's a lot to it. This was one of the first games that actually got on the Switch alongside with uh, Breath of the Wild. That is that is very true. This game was I think this game wasn't if not a if not a launch title, it was a launch window game. It was a launch window game for their uh, online service. I mean the um what's it called? The eShop. Yeah, the eShop. Well, it did get a physical release, and in fact, it even had a reprint, which mm -hmm. had a rather bitching angel aesthetic. Ooh, who are these? Oh, watch out! Oh god! What the? Troll bombs. Ugh. Eight inch nails. Now we fire nails instead now of tears. Now we cry out nails! That's kind of fucked up, actually. Is it, though? 
Well, I mean, compared to everything else in this game, yeah, not much, not much more fucked up than what we have now. So yeah, you're right. <laughs> Anyways, that is a sacrifice room. If you walk into the spikes, you'll lose a heart or half a heart. You know, you'll take damage, but um, you have a chance of spawning an item or a chest. Huh? I never would have known that. Yeah. Uh, there, are, there are some aspects of the game that the game that, that that it doesn't immediately tell you. So the game doesn't tell you anything. Well, well it tells you a few part, things, but not everything. It only it tells you it tells you it tells you well tells you how the game works after some trial and error. Yeah. Plus, there are guides online in case you're confused about what this thing does or what that thing does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, screw these things. Uh. Ugh, they're spooters or something. Spooters. They what? cling to walls and fire shit at you. Also, leeches. Fuck, yeah, the leeches themselves. I mean, I don't know what to say about these guys. They're so cute, and yet whenever they open their mouths, Lunchy gets like, okay, they're not so cute anymore. Well, they're actually in reference to uh, Super Meat Boy, I believe. That's Oh, oh yeah, really? that's right. The, uh, the, uh, the boss of um, the second and last world. I forget its name. Um, It's a different boss, but... um. They do reference that one here, too. I mean, hell, we already saw a miniature bandage girl a few minutes ago, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it, it, so that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Also, remember to break the poop whenever you find it, because usually it'll either contain coins, nothing, or an item called the petrified poop, which will actually guarantee coins whenever you break a piece of poop. Oh, hello, Ref. Hi, Bomberman. Yeah, that's essentially what this is. It's fucking <laughs> Bomberman. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, look at how it's designed. Look all at what it does. Is, all, it's, all it's missing is a bodysuit and a pink pom pump on its head. Look at the room you look at the room you're in. Also, he usually drops bomb-related items when he dies. No shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he goes yeah. out with a bang. Ah, uh, well, at the very least, Bomberman's still still relevant today. Hmm. Alas, you cannot break mushrooms with nails. Nope. You can only break them with bombs because they're counted as rocks. Is there really any incentive to blow up mushrooms? Um, yeah, is there? Sometimes they'll reveal pills, sometimes they'll explode, and uh, sometimes they will grant mushroom-related items. Sometimes also, it's Chubb! Uh, Hi, Chubb. Chub. One of the most annoying bosses in this part yeah. of the game. Only which because... I'm, which which this, I'm, this I'm convinced is based on that one Super Meat Boy uh, boss. No, that's a different boss. A much uh. easier boss at that. But anyways, uh, if you ever played Legend of Zelda, you might remember the end, uh, the likes of King Dodongo. Just toss a bomb in its mouth and it'll do more damage. At the very least, you don't have to only rely on bombs to blow it, to defeat it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because it'd be a dead game at that point. That would be stupid. Anyways, let's that see what Uncle Sigby has to sell. Ooh, Dolly! Mr. Dolly! Ooh, we got Sin Hearts! Oh, nice! So Sin hearts are basically soul hearts, but once they're depleted, they damage every enemy in the room. Ah, gotcha. Ooh, you got... Oh, nice. Oh, and look, Lazarus. Lazarus. The Pact does damage and range up. Right, Let's go. see how much further I go. Oh, well, at least I get to level 4. I mean, granted, some Oops. items do are pretty right. self-explanatory in their descriptions when you That wasn't, wasn't so bad, considering. Oh, yeah. I just realized, I just realized my, tur my skin turned dark. Yep, because you signed the pact. When did that happen? I didn't notice it. Me neither. I mean, I mean, it looks kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> I hate those little diagonal flies. Yeah. Because usually they explode, and it's never fun. Yeah. Well, what, what, when, when is an exploding enemy ever fun? Uh, when it's away from you. Fair when enough. It's, when it's the enemy Pokemon using self destruct. Convenient that you got an extra key. Oh, spike oh, chests. Great. Open yeah. up and take some damage. And just take whatever goodies inside. Or you know, okay. use invincibility frames to your advantage. Why not? That helps too. Yeah. And it's a good thing I have so many, so many soul hearts. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, the spikes won't hurt you um, once they go down when you enter the room. Yeah. Also, screw these spiders. They're the worst. Yep. They uh. move in erratic fashion, and they take a bit of uh, beating. And they leash it, um, and and they let out their babies whenever they go down. Yep. Kind of like Goma. Oh wait. Uh. 
Was Goma no, ever no, no, treated no, no, as no, no, a- No, 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 not Goma. I'm, I'm thinking Armagoma from Twilight Princess. Were the Gomas ever treated as actual, like, normal enemies in the game, outside of Tech Tights? Uh, uh, the earlier games they were, I think. I want to say Ocarina of Time was the only game that did that. Well, no, those were Tech Tights. Yeah, oh, you mean the baby tights. Gomas. The baby Gomas. Oh, oh, the yeah. No, yeah, the one, the, the one from inside, uh, the, the one from inside, uh, uh, yeah. what was it? De the inside King, the, the Deku Tree. Yeah, that and uh, Twilight Princess with the with the really creepy looking. It looked like egg sacks with legs. Then again, the Skulltulas are technically spiders as well. Anyways, skulls. They're like rocks, but can uh, occasionally drop some pretty cool things like tarot cards. Or, or these those. assholes. Yeah, these you can't guys hurt them suck. unless they rev up to attack. <laughs> and sometimes they just will not open their gob. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how much, not much is out there to kill poor Isaac. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are descending further into the depths. Who knows what's oh. down there? Yeah. Like those? Uh... Now we got, now we got the miniature, um, dupes, uh, dupe flies. <laughs> uh, the uh, dupes of flies. Pay to win! Uh, I no, forgot what this win. does. But this is our first example of a trinket in this case. Hmm. Ooh, the odd mushroom. This is a good one. Yeah, it, it's just pure simple. It increases your rate oh, of... Bomb oh, bomb flies. But yeah, also, I'm not entirely also, sure what this... Much... Also, you can tell me how much you know of this game. I'm kind of surprised I didn't just ask you to record it for us. Because I don't have any recording software for my Switch. <laughs> yep, yeah, don't you have Eldado? Does that connect... No, I have... I have Hop Hog. That can still work. Ooh, use the hero font. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, okay. No, uh, that's the wrong button. Uh, also, I have no idea what that is. It's a dead it's a dead fly. Does it just sit there? Yeah, I guess so. It just sits there. Menacingly! No, nope, you control it with the uh, the right stick. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's, it's probably it's pretty much just a walking death walking death machine, as far mm -hmm. as I'm concerned. Uh, yeah, I'm not oh Am I gonna get some use out of this boomerang or not? I think you actually can use it to steal from shops. Yeah, yeah, see, it's see a Legend of Zelda game, it, but with biblical references. Is the music references. getting different with every donation, or is that just me? What? Is the music getting different with every donation? No, it's not. It's not. Anyways, we got fat guys! <laughs> just straight up. Ew, also, that one ew, spew ew, 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 ew. Yeah, that one pukes out toxic creep that will damage oh, you on Oh, that was nasty. Uh, oh, yeah, we got these guys, too. Homunculi. Um... If you hit them enough, they'll deform into a little meaty pile, but they won't die unless you kill them that way. In a way, they're not unlike red skeletons, except you can actually kill them with a dam. Yeah. Come on, any day now. I will- I'll- I'll keep throwing knives until I hurt these fuckers. Oh god! Knives or they're nails? They're on fire! Yep, ah, they're on fire and they explode geez. occasionally. I've never seen these before! Well, <laughs> because they're on fire. <laughs> and they're basically it, tech tights. Now that I think about it, have you played this game before, Seely? I have. Well, not exactly. I've just seen a bunch of different flavors of it. If you're a fan of Classic Legend of Zelda, you'll love this. I guess. I thought of well, getting it, but I just never got around to it. I'd say, I would say get it at a price drop or something. Mm. Also, if I'm not mistaken, is, um, Ed McMahon, isn't Edmund making a new game that's kind of like this, except it's in first person? I don't know. I actually haven't been following Ed McMillan ever since, like, elementary school. Um, you, if you're following Ed McMillan in elementary Ooh. school, then you got problems, dude. No, I mean, like, I remember back in fourth grade, that's when me and my friends first discovered Newgrounds, and that was around the time where he was working on Alien Hominid and Castle Crashers, so... Oh, yeah, those, are, those are ancient. Yeah, especially Alien Hominid. Oh my god. Also, be careful with the bomb flies, because they will explode once they're dead. Like that. Yep. But hey, they could and... be useful for unlocking- for, uh, breaking rocks, or un- uh, unlocking secret rooms. Also, here's the Fallen. The Fallen. Ugh, I hate this type of boss. Because not only will they fire two bolts at- Oh, you have the freezy effect! I have no idea how you did that, but cool. Maybe I got um, but yeah, oh, occasionally oh, they'll just go shit and fire laser beams everywhere. 
And unfortunately, they split and split up in halves. So now you got double the laser barrages. Or I did, until that oh. one blew up. But yeah, they'll usually fire lasers once. Oh, oh little chubby! Little chubby. Oh. chubby! Pentagram. And now, and now our damage went up. It's also an item what? that. Oh, God, watch out! Oh, hello! What the hell? Invisibles. Yep, they turn invisible. Oh, that thing on the left, what's it? I forget what it's called, but I love that thing. Oh, uh, Dark Bomb? No, Brimstone yeah. Bomb. I mean, I would have tempted fate, but I only have like two two actual hearts left. Ugh. What can? Oh, ew. Oh, I have mule ticket. <laughs> that was a, sure. Uh, let's go with that. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go with that. Also, totally these guys launched their totally heads. Totally not at you. a razor inside candy at all. Kind of, uh, yeah, I've heard. I've heard the horror stories of people just putting razor sharp things inside people, food they get and give to. Others and well, that's why some people some people don't accept the cons no more. You guys ever see those shit posts where um they break open like a Twix bar and it's like, look what I found in my candy uh my kid's candy bar during Halloween and there's just like a fully a full size pistol in between the halves. Oh god, <laughs> that sounds kind of that sounds kind of weird. It's weird, but it's funny. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff we have to try for. You know, because they're making fun of something that's. Oh, I understand why they're turning to stone, because you're throwing the boomerang at them. Yep. I gotta admit, you're getting a lot more mileage out of it than I did. <laughs> well, it's all I have left. It's all I have now. Also, these skeleton enemies explode. How, how many enemies in this game How many enemies in this game don't explode? A lot. <laughs> for better and for worse. That's fair. That's completely fair. But yeah, unfortunately, I was almost tempted to make this a full-on commentary, but... Well, look at my stats right now. I'm pretty much a glass cannon in every sense of the word. <laughs> and now as we open this chest, we'll find another pill. Do I dare take it? Epic. I'm excited! I'm excited! What? Not sure what that does. Me neither. What? <laughs> Honestly, it would have been funny if, if, like, just for the sake of cosmetics, like, the music got a whole bunch, a lot happier. Oh. <laughs> like it goes up a key? Oh. Ugh. At least you froze it. Probably the worst time to have to worry about these guys. Mm -hmm. Also, there's two versions of the troll bomb, as it were. There's the regular variety that just stays in place, and there's the larger variety. Oh, it's a bum! Hi there. Give him your money, and he'll occasionally give you stuff. Or, you know, you could detonate him. And take <laughs> his stuff. Oh, I never, never thought to do that, actually. Look, anything that has some form of identity or interaction, you could just blow it up. That's Except the for those that, things in the middle. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Actually, kind of oh, thing that, uh, I much like Zelda... Hmm? I, found, I found the what it means. I'm excited. Oh, what does okay, it do? Upon use, increases the speed of all enemies for the duration of a room. The effect triggers again 30 seconds after use and 60 seconds after use. What, really? Uh... Yeah, that's... Huh. Not a, not a good thing. You think that'd be more a thing for yourself, not so much, well, the enemies. So it's detrimental yeah. because it ri it just pretty much increases the speed of enemies in the room. Right. Yeah, like so right there. Also, we got faster homunculi. Fuck! And their blobby forms actually try running away from you. Huh. Just, yeah, <sighs> by this point, uh -oh. they just start throwing everything at you. And... Yep. Is this the end of the line for James Man? I'll try Ooh, a shiny new dime! Trying. I'll try to get past all, all uh. this, goddammit. I mean, I tried so hard to get this far. Like, honestly, I just wanted this for the, just for the sake of a look at it. And I haven't gone this far. It's like, oh, fuck, maybe I'll just try to see if I can actually get to the end. No, you really but, ought to be course... blasting Lincoln Park while you say that. I'm sorry, was that in bad taste? <laughs> I, I didn't even hear Oh, uh, these right? little guys spout out spiders. That's kind of gross. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what isn't gross in this game, but, yeah. I mean, it's gross in a cutesy way. I mean, How everything's all cartoony. Everything's all cartoony! You know, Except for the blood and bones actually, down there. All things is I'm actually surprised we were able to get away, get away with how much we did in this one video. One video. Mm -hmm. Also, but that's a flashlight. It, it helps that you guys actually have experience with this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> donate, and donate, great donate today. A blue map? Mm-hmm. The blue map reveals secret rooms. How helpful. 
just, yeah, I mean, it's, again, it's a good thing that these guys are pretty much coming for me, because, like, uh -oh. of course the binding of Isaac oh, is God. Be very Mom. careful. When you hear that laugh, keep moving. Oh, yeah, yep. that's right. Now we have, now we have freaking wall masters. Wall masters. Mm-hmm. Mom, um, Mom masters. Mom no. masters. <laughs> Mom masters. Also, they don't go away until you kill them. Well, that's that's pretty much how it always is. Always well, at been, least but... you have the telltale. <laughs> and later on, you have um, versions of them, nice. like bony versions of them, that launch uh, stone shockwaves. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Also, oh, watch this, out! This is gonna suck. Is this the end? I nope, nope. forgot that Isaac starts to pee himself when he's. Low yeah, there's a little puddle of piss. I just noticed that. Well, he is only a kid. Oh God. Getting mobbed hey, by floating says. heads. So the more he stands in one place for too long, the more he pisses. No, it's whenever you enter. Or, Wait. But, or was it just when you enter a room? Okay. It's okay. usually when you enter a room. I Never guess it's mind. a way of marking your territory. <laughs> no, James, don't go yeah. back there. Yeah, let's just get to the boss already. I let's just throw two. Oh my god, I've never seen him. He's angrier, I guess. <laughs> also, he shoots lasers if you're oh on his horizontal angles. It's kind of zombie-esque, actually. Finished. Yep. Also, watch out. Because he launches these little flies. blood flies. Uh, oh, and oh, that's the end of Isaac. Dear Diary, today I died. I was killed by this thing in some pl dark place. I leave all that I own to my cat, Guppy. Look at all this cool oh. stuff I got. <gasps> Goodbye, cruel world. Love, Isaac. That's me kiss, in the corner. Uh, kiss, hug, kiss, hug, Isaac. So yeah, that's Binding of Isaac in a nutshell. Yep. yep, pretty much. There's a lot more we could go into, but we're not that kind of commentary group, are we now? No, we're <laughs> not. I said, are we now? No, we're not. So that's I'm, su I'm surprised I, I, of all people, was interested in this. I can't hear you! Hi, hi, Captain. Hi, Captain. Well, that said, I'm James Bay Extreme. <laughs> I mean, Princess Lita. I'm sleep-deprived. And again, I'm honestly just surprised I got through all this because unlike these numb nuts, I only I'm this is like something I just did right out of the blue. Like I didn't re just thinking, yeah, maybe I'll show it off, even though I'm not like the biggest Isaac player. It's like, well, anyway. Till next time, everybody. <laughs> bye, bye.